The second half of this video will cover how to take screenshots on multiple platforms. There are a few ways to do it. They're relatively the same and equally as easy. So here I am on a PC right now. I'm in the Chrome browser, so our little primary colored orb. And I've got this PDF here of an assignment that I had students read, but I made my study guide in Google Docs, so that presents a problem. I can try to copy and paste this, but the formatting will be ruined, and in some cases, copy and paste isn't even an option, like if I had a, um, a graphic organizer, for example. That's just not going to copy and paste. So let's take a look at what my options are. I think the easiest is to install a Chrome extension. So I'm in Chrome. I'm going to go to chrome.google.com slash web store and install TechSmith Snagit. It is an extension and I'll see after I find it there'll be a blue um, add to Chrome button. I think it's blue. And I'll click that and install it. And once I do that I am going to be given a new button in the browser uh, it will be a, a white S on a blue background. And again, that's going to be somewhere up here. All of your Chrome extensions run here. Extensions do stuff to your browser, which is exactly what I'm looking to have happen here. I need something done to the browser. So I've installed Snagit. Let me give you a demo of what it, what it does. So here I am. I'm on my poem, and I need to capture an image of it. So I'll go ahead and click the Snagit extension. And it's asking me, do I want to run or capture the region, everything visible, or do I want to scroll, like if I had two pages. This is really, really handy. Uh, but for this purpose, I really only just need to capture the region. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And I'll let go and tap the camera button. Uh, from here, I'll just want to click on the bottom right-hand corner and click Download. Here's an added benefit though with Snagit that the other idea that I'll pose doesn't offer. Because I've connected this to my Google account, uh, this image just connected to my Drive account. So if I go over to my Google Drive account, there's the image. How cool is that, right? So I just saved a copy to my Google account. How convenient. Uh, so I, I've just done it two ways now. I've downloaded the file and it's sitting in Google. That's pretty cool. Um, so then I can go over to my document. Let's just say I'm going to start a new one. Pretend that this was a study guide, okay, that I've already typed all of my questions. And before it, I want to have the reading that I signed. So I'll go ahead and click Insert Image. And in this case, I could do this now two ways. I can choose an image to upload and go find that image that I just downloaded. But because I am using Snagit, I get the added benefit of knowing that that image just connected to my account. So I'll go ahead and click the image here and then click Select. And hopefully it's going to work. Yeah, look at that. Awesome. And then now my study guide questions can go on the next page. So that's a, a great example. If you're not a Google Docs fan and you're one of those unfortunate people that are still stuck in Word, just kidding, you always have uh, the snipping tool. So you can click on the bottom orb, bottom left-hand side, and click the snipping tool. If that doesn't appear in your list of options, you could frankly just search for it. So snip, and it's going to pop up. And when you click that, your snipping tool will launch. So you can click the snip there and I can tell I've got my little plus sign here so I can go ahead and take my screenshot that way and save it. I'll save as and now I'm doing the same thing I was just doing before. Now if you're on a Mac you can still do this. Um, they don't have the snipping tool. You have to use a shortcut or at least that's what I do. So I've just grabbed a, any old document I had pulled up and on the keyboard if you tap control or command shift and four your screen or your cursor turns into a bullseye and you can drag for a screenshot and that gets saved to the desktop when I go to the desktop I can verify that it indeed did save that's that little snapshot I grabbed so just to review that since that it's really hard to demonstrate when I'm hanging on to something. Uh, command, Shift, 
four will turn your cursor into a little bullseye that you can take your own screenshots. So that again, there's we've covered Mac and both PC. One way on the Mac and two ways on the PC. By the way, if you're a Mac person and you use Chrome, when you sign into Google, all of your extensions follow you. So if you're a Snagit person or a Chrome user, you can install the Snagit extension and it wouldn't matter what platform you use. So Snagit for everybody, or if you're a Mac person, Command Shift 4. And if you're a PC person and you don't want to use Chrome, you would use the uh, the snipping tool. So there you have it. There are a couple ways there to get your get your all of your materials for the EdTPA combined into one instructional materials package.